Welcome to the Emo Social Club podcast, broadcasting to you live from emosocialclub.tv. I am Brian. And I'm Lizzie, and we're here this evening with our new besties, Palette Knife, hanging out with us. Thanks so much for uh, jumping on. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. Stoked to be here. <laughs> We've been yelled at <laughs> that we're having too many good conversations uh, before this, so... Yeah, let's have you both all just go 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 around the room and just say like a fun fa- no. Uh, just nope. we used to do that. <laughs> yeah, we've we stopped because uh, fun fact, fun fact, uh, popcorn. Oh I, you don't have to do one. No, Icebreakers. I'll, I'll, I'll just, my name's Chris. I play bass and do vocals. My name's Alec. I I do lead vocals and guitar. And my fun fact is I do a pretty <laughs> killer mouth trumpet uh, impression. No, it's true. It's confirmed. He's very 100%. good. We've we've really caught, we've uh, considered tracking some of it yeah. on both yeah. albums. Yeah, we really want a trumpet, and we were like, we were in a time pinch, and we couldn't get anyone. We're like, well, we could do mouth trumpet. It got vetoed though. I don't know why, because it's like pretty like. It's fun. I mean, just close to doing it right now. You might have to do a little performance. Yeah, now we need to know. Literally recording, so. I don't it's know a track if I can do it now. Like I, yeah, but now I'm just I might have to we'll sneak it in right, a little right. bit later. Yeah. Maybe after, <laughs> warm yeah, up, warm up. He introduces himself. So I'm Aaron. I play drums and also do vocals. <laughs> <laughs> no it's gonna no be like back. a like a hook and be like, you gotta wait till the end. You're gonna hear some mad <laughs> trumpet skills. Hey. Oh, there we go. Now here's the thing: are the mad trumpet skills in the new music, like in the in like Avatar: Last Cake Bender, or is it like in? Though soon to oh, be there released, is, there is no mouth trumpet, unfortunately. Yeah. There yeah. almost was. There almost oh, yeah. was. What? Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Let's I mean, talk to you. <laughs> here's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I've, this I've, is our. I mean, technically, wait. We have two EPs, technically. Uh, second album. So this is like our fourth release, and we still have yet to put emo trumpet on a track. And it's hurting my spirit. <laughs> it, it's gonna happen on the third thing. Yeah. The third yeah. album. Like we, we now tried, we're making we, it happen. Instead, we, we did about a lot of synth stuff on the new yeah, record, which is uh, yes, yeah. Like I would feel like you could just put like MIDI trumpet in there. I like, just have like you oh, know, just like tried, tried, couldn't it get the no. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. so bad. Don't ever do that. <laughs> Look, I know. <laughs> I feel like you can get away with strings. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. For sure. I've done I'm a lot scared. of like string stuff in music, and I'm like, you know what? I don't think anyone's gonna know. But yeah, the horns just. How would they know? You can <laughs> buy a symphony plugin that's like literally five hundred dollars, <laughs> and it it sounds like better than like. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't I mean, say that. And you don't have to teach anyone. But... <laughs> I mean, it's that good though. Like it maybe not, but it's that good. Yeah. Throw some reverb on that shit. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put the verb on everything. <laughs> it's some verb. Uh, <laughs> we have also determined that we are going to talk about the music. And we're going to bookend the interview by talking about your music. So we do it. And then we're just going to talk about like a bunch of nerdy shit, I guess. <laughs> now, here's yeah. the thing. Like we, we talk about the music just lately. We get really excited to talk to people. <laughs> so we just go head first into it. And then we kind of cover the music. So now we're going to be covering it first. We're going to cover And then the at music. the end. So let's and then whatever, the whatever chaos yeah, happens in between. So yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Let's talk about the new music. There's a new single that came out. There's an LP coming out. So why don't we just get all the good promo out of the way, tell people how good it is. And um, even though there is no trumpet on it, uh, how good <laughs> I mean, it yeah. all is. How, what, what's your, what's your 10 second sales pitch without the emo <laughs> trumpet on it? That's going to make people want to listen to it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have a new album coming out January 20th, New Game Plus. Um, if you don't know us already uh we really like video games so we wanted to make a video game themed record um and we yeah we just put out a, a single um earlier this month called avatar the last cake bender and we have one more single drop in before the record comes out anything else we need to add oh we released a single before that oh yeah we also yeah <laughs> damn son damn son you can listen to three songs from this record yeah, already yeah, it's <laughs> boy damn son and avatar the last cake bender and uh, another one, if you dig around on oh, some of our old yeah. live streams. Ooh, live. hidden so tracks, hidden unreleased, unreleased tracks. tracks. Yeah. yeah. I like it when bands do that, like on Instagram or something like that. And they just go live and they're just like, here's the record. If you come to this, you can hear it all right now. And <laughs> yeah, like, it's like I'm looking at it. myself. I'm yeah. done. <laughs> uh, as it's called New Game Plus, my first immediate question is like, the like is it an rpg new game plus is it an action game new game plus like what kind of new game plus are we talking about here 
How many hours am I investing of my life to do it again? I mean, we can eat. It's definitely RPG. And it, this is like a 60 hour campaign. There's Man. side quests. <laughs> <laughs> first band with side quests is oh man the, the, so the, the 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 elevator pitch is we are all sucked into a video game and we, part of this is built into like the diegetics of some of our interludes um but so we're, we're sucked into a video game uh run by this character named plus who's like running he's like a rogue ai that's running the video game um who's like, he's like the prominent character uh on our uh, album artwork uh, so the idea is we're all stuck in this video game and we have to defeat all of these bosses, which represent each of the songs to get out. Okay. Uh, love yeah, that. Sick. I love that's this sick. concept. It's, it's pretty elaborate, actually. <laughs> I mean, this is like the concept albums we've been looking for in like this de- new decade. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, I mean, art puns with our name aside, I feel like we want to try to create something a little bit artful. Um in the genre and they're yeah. both graphic designers so obviously they're yeah, gonna we, they're gonna go we, we design and illustrate take all, all, of our, <laughs> all of our stuff in-house yeah i have said to everybody who has ever said yeah. i want to start a band what should i do my first thing was learn graphic design <laughs> it yeah. is like the hardest and skill that's a life hack right there yeah like yeah. i don't care if you can play your guitar i care if you can like use any software because that is going to work so much better in the band environment and like there's working together there's collaborating there's playing the music is kind of like the last thing because it's like dude just know how to do graphic design so you can put something on socials that looks nice and you don't have to like outsource it you don't have to pay anybody else you can just do it yourself the music will come later like just get that down don't worry about it yeah (laughs) it's just an early it's just an early promo campaign and then like you'll eventually do the song and people be like hey where's the music oh here Oh, yeah, here, here. oh, sorry. Here you go. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you're yeah. like, okay, well, our, our one band member who knows logic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, Throw it yeah. together. That's what I have. They they know uh, Adobe shit. I don't know any of that, but I can run logic like. That's all there you, you go. need. That's yeah. all you need. Now, I in theory, if you needed to do Adobe Audition, you could. Would it be the best? No, but you could no. get there. But logic is better. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what you really in, in, in a band auditions. What you should not you shouldn't be auditioning for your instrument, but like how well you can bring an extra like player money saver into the band. I'm sad. Skill. That's I'm the sad. saddest thing I've ever heard. It is, it's literally like when you apply for a job, it's yes. like, oh, I could do this base job. OK, well, what else can you do that's going to be useful? So I don't have to right. pay more money to someone okay, else. Wow. Like, no, that's smart. Like my next band, like I'm going to do that. Yeah. With members. <laughs> You can like just post it on Twitter. <laughs> just post it on Twitter. And be like, oh, has to be in this area. Um, you know, maybe could drive a van. Definitely knows Logic or Pro Tools. Yeah, you're, you're you know, you for... can be pretty mid at your instrument. That's fine. You can learn that later. <laughs> you're gonna get like, what? Uh, what is it? Tim Hansen from Polythea is gonna like audition for your band. Mm-hmm. And you're like, well, do you know? Do you know Adobe? And he's like, no, I, I just I just do the guitar. And you're like, he's like, no, oh, sorry. I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, yeah sorry, Ooh. Bessie. I know you really shred it, but like, what else do you <laughs> bring like to the, the table? Our worries here. Yeah. The only other side is if you're auditioning a drummer. Do you have a drums? Yeah. <laughs> like oh, yeah. I've literally worked with drummers Look who are like, oh, I don't have my own kit. It's like, what do you do then? How does that even? How happen? do you do your yeah. thing? <laughs> They have buckets. They're the bucket boy. I've done that. That's it. I've it seen a guy do that before. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> like well, that yeah, is the it only time. Go well. You're like, okay, this isn't going to go well. Also, do you have drums? And they're like, they'll know. And it's like, oh, well, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. No. <laughs> I know so, graphic design. I don't know drums. I don't know drums. <laughs> I don't know 50/50. anything. Just graphic design. But drums, you can learn if you have beat and rhythm. <laughs> yeah. Or if you're good at, good at logic, because you can just pre-program all that shit. Yeah, see, then you're done. Then you don't I even need the ch- not a, I can't learn drums. Oh, no, he can't. He, <laughs> but I've, I haven't taken a lesson. Okay. You, like, you don't know what you're you even can't doing. can't separate your I've never seen your body move in such an awkward <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> but if you consider it, I just haven't had a teacher. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, the teacher will teach him how to like move his body on the drum. Granted, we don't know how to. I neither of us know how to play instruments, so like we should not know, be talking shit I know like the that. The idea right now. behind most the of the idea, but, I'm not, but I never yeah. dedicated myself to it. But rock band drums can really fucking help. I'm gonna Dude. say that 
because I know how to play maps by yeah yeah yeahs on drums, and I do not know how to play drums. <laughs> nice. No, I that's I I don't play drums. I can play that song on drums. Yeah. Yeah. So probably because of rock band. Yeah, everybody's got to go pick up rock band rock drum band. kids now. Yeah. Wait. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, wow. oh you're missing out. We'd probably fun. destroy. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I feel like I'd actually break, I feel like I'd the, break only, the kit. It's the only one that's so like hard. Because like oh. I've seen them, they look pretty flimsy. Well, you, no. I mean, they are. Certain MIDI, uh, MIDI, like real kits to it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'll get a Rollwind. Yeah. Roll yeah. Roll yeah. Roll look, I've looked them up. Talking. I'll, we, I'll do that. We were doing rock band streams, and I, have through the years, have lost all of my, most of my instruments. So I had to buy some new ones during the pandemic. And of course, they were all like selling for like 500, yeah. 600 bucks. Yeah. Like I could literally just buy an Elisa's kit for two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, and I'm like, Wait, am I, I dedicating like, my time to this? Am I going to buy a drum? Uh, a couple of my friends invest, finally invested. They had they had the drum or no, they had the guitars, but they finally invested in a drum kit, and it was like a couple hundred dollars. Like people went in on it. Uh, but what I don't get is like, why, why are there no like third market or third part party like drum? Like where's the Mad Cats yeah. drum kit? Oh, Mad Cats. <laughs> I guess they all like There's a market for it, really. There Mad is. <laughs> Especially when everybody was stuck inside. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah there had to be a third like, market for nostalgia it. Nostalgia bricks. When you're like the last one to like jump in on Smash and the only controller left is the Mad Cats one and your uh, doesn't work. Oh, yeah. doesn't work. Oh, my one of the worst Christmas gifts I ever got was I asked for a pro controller for it. This is for Wii U, yeah. playing Smash on Wii U. And they got me a third party one. And I was like, yeah. oh, I don't. Uh, all right, I'll go ahead and say it. This was my girlfriend at the time, and I was like, I don't, I don't think it's gonna fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the, the thing: and the did it work? The controller, the was, remote, the remote. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> so number one, yeah. my aesthetic is all black, everything at all times, right? So yeah. Yeah. he got me a clear controller, like so you could see mm. all the little gears in it. I'm like but they come in black. <laughs> like you could have just <laughs> literally got me the one color that I like all of my stuff in. And it would have been great as the matte black controller would have changed my day. <laughs> got me that. And I was so upset. And then she also got me replacement windshield wipers. <laughs> oh, uh, That's a real adult gift. Something. I got her, I believe jewelry. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. Anyway, yeah. luckily that didn't work out. That sounds bad. You sound <laughs> yeah. better off. Yeah, I am <laughs> crushing it now. He's <laughs> doing so good now. <laughs> he is, uh, he's here oh, living. I bought my own pro controller for Switch so I can play Smash with that. But I also have a GameCube controller that didn't come in black, so I have it in purple, but whatever. I the mean, that's still in your aesthetic a little yeah. bit, Bestie. It's fine. Indigo, technically. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the GameCube Indigo. Or... Yeah. Man, I'm gonna change my entire color aesthetic to GameCube Indigo. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're gonna end up matching my hair. It's a pretty good color, dude. And everybody, there's gonna be a certain subset of people who are like, I know exactly what color you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> We literally can't yes. talk about our music without talking about video games now. Yeah. To be fair, this is still a conversation I mean, about your music. The entire premise is a is a video game, so yeah. This is now on topic. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> because your latest single, Avatar The Last Cake Bender, obviously homage to Avatar The Last Airbender, which is the superior avatar out of all of them, uh, next to Legend of Korra. But um, what is everybody's um, favorite Avatar The Last Airbender character? Because that's the most <laughs> important thing, really. Oh, okay. So, or who do you identify uh, with if that's easier for you? Lizzie, Lizzie has said so many like references to the show to me. I, I literally have never it. seen I it. Have it off, That's really uh, upsetting for you, Bessie. You're missing out. Um, oh, I gotta think about this. Probably, I mean, Master uh, Uncle Iroh. Uncle Iroh. Oh, oh. Uncle Iroh. Oh. My That's boy. a good one. Yeah, that's, he hit me. He said some shit to me in that show that like changed the way I see the world. Literally, no, Brian. So, so Brian's never seen Avatar because it was kind of before his time. But like, I'm telling you, Bessie. <laughs> I'm, so I'm, cool. I am After 42 yeah, years old. You've gotten, <laughs> like, 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 you oh, gotten yeah. younger since last time. Yeah, I'll get I older by the end of the pod. Wow. I've only seen like a couple episodes, but my favorite character is. What? I know, Watch it all. I know. So all of it. Um, my favorite character is just the cutest one, and that's Appa. He's so cute. Yeah, oh, Appa, so cute. Appa's adorable. Yeah. I. 
I would have to say my favorite is probably Prince Zuko, if only because of his character arc. It's, mm-hmm. it's like it's yeah. pretty good. It's, like, it's pretty yeah. much the best character arc. Is that the Fire Boy? Yeah, yeah the Fire. Yeah, boy. the Fire Boy. <laughs> he's, a sad, he's a sad. He's a boy. sad boy. He's a scarred. Boy. Oh no, he is like pure sad boy. My daddy hates me, and yeah. I am like the biggest his emo. Dad sucks, angst. Though. Yeah, no, his dad's a piece of shit. His sister's a bitch too. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable mention for Toph. No, Top, Top is, is awesome. Amazing, her vibes are incredible. Oh, Top, I forgot about her. I Still on Katara though. Katara's <laughs> great too. Now, now should we? Oh, they're all great. Now, here's the thing though. At the end of it, when they put Katara with Aang, that's kind of Shank move. It sh- definitely should have been Zuko and Katara. I'm one of those stands. I I personally ship Aang and Katara, uh, but <laughs> I, I, I I respect I. I respect the guitar, Zuko. It's it's not a bad pairing. It's just like I mean, I feel like the writers had to make a decision, and I feel like Nickelodeon. I feel like somehow I think uh, it was it was works. Nickelodeon because I remember meant for like they they want like the main character who like most of like the audience is like probably. Yeah, so I remember fun. when the finale came out. Me and my friends were big into it, so we watched it. We had like a big like get together, and then we were like we were all so mad so we were like searching like why did they do this and it was like nickelodeon was like hey we just think (laughs) this should happen instead you know you know forget whatever happened in the tunnel and everything but whatever okay (laughs) (laughs) but i agree i I, I think it makes more sense with ang's character for him to like be single especially with the monk vibes yeah Yeah, just like it, it it makes sense that I feel like he would be married to like his work and like his spirituality. Yeah. 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 Synopsis. <laughs> like a sad, lonely life. Yeah, but he's not. He has Katara, who can blood bend. That's what? girl power energy. That's girl boss oh energy. God, we're just watching. Oh, we're just oh, watching, Brian. Brian, I'm coming over. Which we're watching Avatar: the- Last Airbender. Which one of the four main elements of the planet <laughs> is blood? Water, because there's water, water in your blood. No, that's some okay, that's wait, some like yes. about, wait, no. technically mm. technically earthbenders should be able to bend blood as well. Oh, yeah. 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 oh shit. It should be a Now battle. here's the thing. We don't better. know if that was developed in Legend <laughs> of Korra, because I remember I just bypassed the second season entirely because it was very boring. It went to the last season. But I don't know if we missed okay, possible wait. iron blood bending. I can I wait, I, I I can give you the so first season of Korra, awesome. Second season, yeah. terrible. Uh, yes. Third season, like as good if not better than the first season. Fourth season, fourth season, eh, it's fine. It like wrapped it up, and it's like it did yeah. what it needed to do, but it got lazy. The third season, you could tell that was like, I think they were trying to end it, and then it got renewed. Mm. <laughs> so and they like, were like, "Hey, it, please, I'm begging." Like like <laughs> yeah, and like the the villain in season three is like like the best villain since yeah the, uh, original. Right, you just need to watch it. We're gonna watch it. Watch yeah, it. yeah. It, it's great. It's, not, it's better it's than the blue kiddie, avatar. If that's your like avatar is not. There's some serious. You think it's gonna be kitty, and then it's not. No, it's there's like holy shit. What is going on? Show. Yeah, like what Aang is learning, the Watcher is learning too. And dude, it's so it's just so well written. Like, yeah, it's, it's like generational trauma too. Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, it is like uh, the beach I episode. I need you to sell the show without using the phrase generational trauma because <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, it's like in Kanto, but like they have magic powers. <laughs> and Kanto had magic powers too. <laughs> this is <laughs> no yeah, they're your different cell. powers. <laughs> Yeah. But it's fine. It just oh, don't watch so the movie movie. But they're re- they're gonna be doing a live action one, but like actually culturally cast correctly. I think. No, M Night Shyamalan yeah, yeah. has never fucked up anything. So. Okay, but there's a but, there's a controversy here because the original writers and creators of Avatar were originally involved with the Netflix adaptation, and now they're no longer. Yeah, okay, they, I don't oh. like that anymore. Now you're done. I'm but so M Night Shyamalan. Back That's in. what happened yeah. last time. But the casting's good. No, the casting is very solid. That's why I'm a little yeah. bit optimistic for it. But I'm like, hey guys, you have to keep the Moon Princess in at least, and like not fuck oh, it up the again. Moon Princess. Oh. That's rough, oh. buddy. Awesome. <laughs> it'll <laughs> change your life. It, yeah, dude, you just need. Yeah, to it'll change your life, bestie. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I will watch it under the like the anime rules of like I need a uh, like uh. uh 
like skip guide so that I there's can no skip skips. over all there's the fillers. There's absolutely no skip. No, there's like no filler episodes. That's it is guy. all yeah, fucking great. Yeah. This is going to be a we're gateway finding drug a day. One Piece. I'm coming I'm... over. We're watching Avatar. <laughs> no, there's no uh, skips. There's no skips. So much you going might, on. I, I, you, one could argue. One could try to argue. There's like one or two skips in the first season, but I think only because those episodes give off the vibe of like kids show, despite the fact that they do have like plot repercussions. Um, but no, once you get to the second season and third season, there's no yeah. skips. Seamless. All right. Yeah. <laughs> What's it on anymore? Netflix. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yeah. 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 The entire series is on Netflix. Is Legend of Korra yeah. on Netflix? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Legend of Korra is the second part. So you have to watch all of Avatar, then watch Legend of Korra. Give which is them grown no, up. Don't yeah, don't don't give yourself <laughs> a lot. You have to do them don't do them back to back. You have to Go get into generational out. trauma on <laughs> one sitting. <laughs> yeah. Get your and maximum then more generational, generational trauma. trauma yeah. Controlled doses. Yes. <laughs> We are going to max you out. <laughs> now, remember, these these characters are anywhere from the ages of like 12 to 16, too. Yeah. I've, yeah. So little. I've so... <laughs> you found every way to not sell me to watch a show. No, it's a great show. It literally is. Unbelievable. I want to talk about music again. Music again. He's like the most positive masculine figure we have in this yeah. universe and he like can fight that motherfucker <laughs> wow. i was like when he first did his thing oh yeah like, whoa he, he's got that kind of yoda effect yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, this, he's just he just he's likes just, food and he's yeah. wise yeah and old and then yeah. like when you actually see him fight you're like oh you're shit. Like, oh, yeah, shit. he's like him. into it and then he gets jacked yeah. at one point because he was in jail yeah. and it's like bro oh, what <laughs> And, like, you don't realize he's getting jacked because he's, like, wearing, like, robes the entire yeah, time. Yeah, and he just stood in his tea, minding his own business. <laughs> like, this will oh, make me just go back and watch Dragon Ball Z at this, at this no, rate. No, no, it's better. No, no it's no, better. It's, 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 yeah, it's different. First Dragon, of all, it, Dragon Ball Z is great. I don't think there's a single fight that takes more than one episode. That's great. <laughs> How long is an episode? Which I will say is like a, a, 30 minutes. a lot of really good anime. Yeah. Look. It's only want, 30 minutes. I want to see four punches thrown in a 20 minute episode. And then I want people just talking about how powerful they are. And then I want to see some other bullshit with two other characters just flying that's, somewhere. That's, that's like with Sparky, Sparky Boom Man and like Bossing Say. You get that. Mm. What are the words you just said? Yeah. That's the name of one of the characters. <laughs> that's one of the. the I, had str- I had a stroke just now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have Bossing Say, which is Attack on Titan Village. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. All have, right. Uh, okay. Wait, did you say Combustion Man? Sparky Sparky Boom Sparky Man. Sparky Boom Man. <laughs> That will be stuck in my brain forever. Wait, is that Combustion Man? But like, yeah, the one with the he has the third oh, yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, just yeah. like and then he blows things up. What does he do? He, he would like use his third his eye mind, and he blows things. Like, yeah, and he blows it up. Because because so throughout the series, you every once in a while you'll meet a bender who has such a specialized and unique form of bending that it doesn't even look like what bending should be of that. Uh-huh. Like Sparky Sparky Boom Man is technically a firebender, but no one knows how he just makes things explode with his mind. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's badass. Straight fuck it. <laughs> Gotta watch it. Gotta watch it, Bestie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have some... a question for you. Okay. Uh, do, do you do you watch anime series at all? It's been a while. Um I was for a good good amount of time there and then just sort of like ran out of time to really dedicate a lot of like sitting down uh, and getting into it it, it ends up being really background like noise so like if i'm sitting down to watch something i tend to want to like focus on it and absorb what's going on i was trying to get into one piece because i have a friend who is a massive one piece fan yikes and i, I tried, was like i tried one i could everything felt like filler i was like i yeah, don't know where the plot is yeah, I, yeah. well isn't there like over not... like 500 or something episodes i had all, a friend like who 700 tried to do all and of it. chill well, it's one fine these fans are going to come for me in the comments because i <laughs> But I feel it felt like one of those animes where like they solve all of their problems by believing a little bit harder than they mm-hmm. did in the previous episode. It <laughs> gave me that vibe. You know, I can't. I I haven't watched. You're one watching piece. the show. One Piece, and that sounds correct. <laughs> that's yeah. How, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how yeah, yeah. Is, but well, I love it. Way, back in the day, not not recently, I gave up on that. Better Same with the Naruto. <laughs> Gave up on oh, I could I couldn't do Naruto. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z though, I watched every single episode of that. Yes, correct. 
I'm that not, that show fucking rules. Naruto, so I feel like I would have made a lot of Naruto friends throughout my life. But Naruto I wanted, I wanted to be a Naruto boy so bad. A Naruto boy. Band. Yeah. A Naruto. Oh. Wait, here's the thing. But do you have the headband regardless of you not being a Naruto boy? No. Maybe that's what you should be for Halloween next year. I never committed to it. All yeah. right. Everyone's going to have to go in and get a Naruto fan, uh, headband yeah, for Aaron for Christmas. <laughs> I did read like the manga because I used to like, get Shonen Jump. So I would read like, I think it was like a chapter, like every uh, episode. Of the that's show. cool. And like One Piece and Death Note. I mean, that's we were how just talking about Death Note. That's how I found One Piece and Naruto was the manga first. Yeah, yeah. I did watch Death Note. Uh, most, I think that's like the most recent show I've watched anime like all through. <laughs> But I say that and then I'm yeah, like, I it got to a point where they night. just like reset. And I was like, I'm out. Like, I don't know why you're re- <laughs> like, oh, we've all lost our memories. We don't know what's going on. I'm like, oh, this sounds like I can stop watching now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So sounds this like sounds I'm like good. the end of the plot. Yeah. Yeah. I it, like how just it's just d- quick and done. 37 episodes. And I mean, it's whoever wrote that is a, is a mastermind genius. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a detective show like that in my life. So that's basically what it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and like, yeah, with gods and a uh, creepy <laughs> yeah, dude that just me. hangs out behind you. Yeah, <laughs> like I, 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 I really enjoyed it, but then I don't know. It's just like it's just like anime just goes on for so long because they're like we have to just keep making things right. and like it doesn't follow like the the like we're telling a story. Here is the beginning, <laughs> middle, and end. It's just like no, there's just constant things happening. It's like yeah. life, and I'm like. I'm watching this to escape. I'm not watching this to to be, be in to be in life. <laughs> Touche. Would Wait, I survive way. if I had a death note? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Pokemon is like done. Like the anime, like the main, like Ash's arc is like done. Huh? Wow. Wait, is what? it? Is it making that shit? I was yeah, about to say, they, the last time I checked in on Pokemon, he's finally, finally the world champion. Oh, oh, wow. It's only been like two decades. <laughs> wow, good for him. Okay, first of all, yeah, we I all want to be eight years old forever. I just catch the last episode. You know? since maybe Gen 3. So how old him. would he be? Like, what, in his 20s? No. Or did he just never age? 10 years old forever. I think he's... He's 10 when he starts. Oh, yeah. Right. You have to be 10 years old to become a Pokemon trainer. Okay. He's 30 years I, old. I'm pretty, regardless, he's only aged maybe like one or two years, if at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, a 12 year old Pokemon, Pokemon champion. Yeah. <laughs> they got to explain that somehow. Do they like reset at some point? Or is it's it just like a one? kid who goes on adventures? Yeah. <laughs> we're, right. Weren't we all just kids who went on adventures? Just, yeah. you know, yeah, just without Pokemon? the same age when we got old. In that, in the Pokemon universe, um, number one, there are Pokemon, and number two, you don't age for like ever. <laughs> and that's it's not it's not well noted. Like, like they don't bring it up a lot in the anime or the <laughs> games. They're mostly just focused on the Pokemon part. But yeah, you don't age. And yeah, they're all several hundreds years old. Yeah. <laughs> so why is like Professor Oak so old then? You've been that stuck in okay, wait, wait, okay, wait. Here, you can explain this in Gen because Gen four they start introducing like God Pokemon, uh-huh. um, and you know there's like a Mewtwo. You know, uh, no, not quite. No. Mewtwo is a science legendary. experiment. Artificial, oh, really artificial. powerful. powerful. Pokemon, yeah, artificial yeah. Um, but like you have like Pokemon who's like in charge of all time. So theoretically, you can have like a Pokemon that casts some sort of time spell, so everyone just stops aging. Oh, wow. look at that. Didn't think that would happen. Would it's, it's, no. yeah. I think it's, I think I don't it's think either. given the rules of the Pokemon universe. <laughs> okay. Damn, okay. So if he's he's games. Back, he could just be like, you're dead. You're sure. Dead. That's yeah. it. Or you're forever 79 years old. Dialga. Yeah. That's a complex world. Yes. There's literally a Pokemon that's just a balloon ghost. And it just says in the Pokedex. <laughs> dude, Driftblim is fucking amazing. I, I like, I need this Pokemon <laughs> so in my good. party all the time. It literally says in the Pokedex, like, it'll just, like, hover around and let kids grab it, and then they'll just drift away and carry oh, wow. the kid away to die. So it, and I'm like, so it's this it. game is for babies. Like so this game it? is for babies. That's all it is. <laughs> so, it, yeah, the po- a lot of the Pokemon entries are, like, really, like, dark when you think about some of the implications. Yeah. Like, Pokemon are terrifying. This universe is fucked up, and it is for babies. <laughs> <laughs> and it's for babies, correct. It's like the idea that you're just like hanging around with a bunch of ghosts all the time 
like as your Pokemon, I'm like, oh, we don't really want to think about any of the like complications that that brings up. We're just going to send them out there to, to attack. Well, it's a like raccoon. you're just like an edgy young kid. You're like, oh, I'm so cool. Like I get to hang out with the ghosts, like be my true goth self. Like that's that's what it is. Yeah, that is pretty, that's pretty dumb. But there's no gods in a world where ghosts are real. Oh, They're just can we talk people. About, <laughs> so in the new Pokemon, let's open world and whatnot. Whenever you defeat a Pokemon, you'll sometimes get like a crafting supply from that Pokemon mm-hmm, that you can like mm-hmm. use to make TMs. It's a cool system. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's like they're but it's like very like overt about like you're getting like parts of the animal you just kill. Mm-hmm. Like it's like mm-hmm. you know, sometimes it's like, oh you got a feather from the Pidgey, but then other times it's like you got like part of like the flesh or something. Yeah. Like it's like oh, oh, oh my god. Dude not, it, not actually using the word splash, but like yeah, but still, it's like yeah. a piece of it. Yeah, like, yeah. like, uh, like I would say, like, a uh, horn comes up a lot, you know. So it's like, oh, yeah, but the yeah. idea that, like, it, you know, would you, why would why would you why would you mangle a Pokemon in the, <laughs> in the streets and then be like, in oh, cool, streets. can I trade this for shit? And people are like, yeah, bring it on. <laughs> it's like it's like I'm not thinking too deep about it because clearly nobody on the other side did either, but. I do think about the ramifications of like growing up and being like, oh, yeah, you send your Pokemon out to battle and they all want to battle. But it's like, I think they're killing each other, guys. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, I think we're harvesting them. They're like little pokey slaves. This ain't cool. Yeah, it's like we we know meat exists in the Pokemon universe, but we don't know if animals exist in the Pokemon universe. Right. Um, There are some that they stay straight up in the Pokedex like this is delicious or like people eat like (laughs) Slowpoke tail. And it's like, what? Oh, yeah, that's 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 like a plot point in the second game. Yeah. Um, People like trying to harvest Slowpoke tails. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't think we should be playing this game this way. No. But yeah. at the same time, like it, you're right. Like there aren't other animals that are just like living around people and Pokemon. So it has to be that they're eating the Pokemon. That's just like there's there's literal like plants that are in there that are like, oh, that's just a plant food. That's that's for vegans. <laughs> that's for vegans. Yeah, they're literally eating oddishes. Wait, wait, I gotta I gotta interject here real quick. Our, my roommate is offering for T Bell. If anyone wants T Bell, yeah. What do you guys want? You guys want anything? Oh uh, man, cheesy quesadilla, uh, cheesy yeah. quesadilla crunch. I'll eat it uh, and then yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just yeah, let me know how it tastes. Him. You know what? In <laughs> that case, since uh, since uh, Taco Bell never sits well with me, uh, we can get the the cheese quesadilla with some chicken in it and a Baja Blast. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that's a go to for me. Does anyone actually? Want oh yeah, that? no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> does, anybody, does anybody in the current room I'm in want? Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> it's like I'm running to the store. Who needs something? Yeah, I just had a, a a bowl of spicy chicken ramen with a chicken tender on top. And, that was and Chick-fil-A okay. sauce. You just drew Chick-fil-A sauce Ooh. on the chicken. In the Innovative. Bowl. The Chick-fil-A Gross, sauce dude. is it was mostly amazing. mayo, which is like not a step away from Kewpie mayo, which you could, you know. Absolutely. Right. Which is the point I brought up when I did it. Yep. No, that's a that's a gourmand right there. Yeah. That's somebody who <laughs> understands food. <laughs> I knew... I was like, I don't want to get into Pokemon too much because it's been like a whole fucking week. And now I'm just like so ready to be like, you know what else is fucked up about Pokemon? Oh God. <laughs> well, we can talk about your first LP because it keeps in the nerd theme. So we have Ponderosa Sna- Snake House and the Chamber of Bullshit, which is the first time I heard about you guys. And I really <laughs> like that album. So how nothing. is this going to sound sonically different from the upcoming album? uh similar yeah yeah but I mean, faster yeah yeah so I, the, the reason we decided to call it new game plus my like at the original reason was like hey all these songs we're writing post ponderosa snake house are a lot harder and a lot faster to perform um so we were like oh it's like new game plus because everything's more difficult um but hopefully cooler and more rewarding <laughs> yeah i'd say it's a, a lot more sonically diverse as well like we did it with the same engineer and producer, but like everything sounds full. Yeah, we kind of we kind of like just yeah, we upped the ante, you know, from the last album, I feel. And we added like the synths, which got yeah, such cool parts. We had our friend John who came in and he we have like some interludes in there where he helped write and produce those with us. So, like I feel like we just kind of took what we already had from Ponderosa and just kind of brought like brought it up higher. Yeah, next level. 
Um, we track drums in a great room oh. uh, in Columbus, all like wood. I how the ceiling how, was wood. How expensive? It was like a four is forty thousand dollar room. No, oh my I think god, it was, was it more than that? I think it was like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay, room. yeah, it was something absurd. Yeah, like, it's like all. Uh, it was like a studio like a block away from me that was, like, we didn't know <laughs> until like oh, years ago. It's just down the street. Yeah, yeah. it's just like a nondescript warehouse, and then you go in and you're like, oh my god, it's a state of the art room. Let's yeah, <laughs> they just normally record like jazz bands there yeah, but, yeah. Um, well they do like media stuff it's called vital uh, yeah. productions or yeah, whatever yeah. so like they do a lot of video stuff but like they never have like a local band come in there and like like it's always people from out of state or out yeah it was super fun um oh yeah also in terms of how the album sounds different i would say we kind of pushed ourselves to be a little bit more progressive i think with our, our songwriting i think we try to we, Something like Odd Times Signatures is something we kind of touched on in the first record, and that's something we tried to make a little bit more prominent in this one, um, as well as some, like, arrangement. Yes. Yeah. And more screams. Well, scrams. More scrams. 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 More scrams. Yeah. I'm I got the scram a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always had this, uh, this kind of joke when, you know, it was, like, early 2000s when all the bands were like, okay, we got to put that, put out something else, like, how are we going to like change the sound or up the ante? And it was always like, since, since they're going in, like, I remember it was like AFI did it and they were like, yeah, now there's just synths and everything. We're just going to add more synths every time. <laughs> and I'm we like, yeah, be an all synth band. No, we, yeah. we, do synth jams. <laughs> we get super high and do synth jams with our engineer. And we just sit around in a circle and literally just jam for hours. Yeah. Like, and so we're like, well, I guess we should implement this a little bit into our <laughs> band. And also, like, quarantine will really get you into synths. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I bought a synth during yeah, quarantine. Yeah, oh. I know, like, several people who bought synthesizers during quarantine. <laughs> it's a thing. So we're still, awaiting the... I'm doing, but, yeah. We're awaiting the new era of synth jam bands to overtake the dad jam bands, is yeah, what I'm hearing. Yeah. We will be those dads. We will be Give us that. 10 <laughs> years. We'll be there. 10 years. See, I always just thought it was like, as soon as you get any DAW on your computer, like you get a, a MacBook and you finally have GarageBand and you're just like, ah, I don't have any instruments, so I'm just going to start fucking around. And it's like, dude, there's synths in here and yeah. holy shit. And it's like that yeah, just like yeah. changed everybody's brain to be like, no, yeah. dude, I can do a lot of cool shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> But the other, you're the only one who knows anything about that. The other like, guys yeah, are just like, you can, you no, know, you're like yeah. making me like, oh, I gotta go, guys. Yeah, gotta go. Like, oh, yeah. like mess around. What, what changed it? What changed it for me? I mean, as a guitarist and non drummer, uh, when I got like a MacBook and finally got the version of GarageBand that had like the automatic drummer on it. <laughs> Fucking Kyle. Oh, so God. Kyle. So so hate Kyle. Oh. I literally, so I like make <laughs> demos of like shit I write and I send them to these guys and Aaron's like, take the, t take Kyle out. I can't focus can't on the music it. with, yeah. because the drums are just so bad. Like yeah, they're fine like, bad. all the time. <laughs> But they do really odd. They like, sometimes they don't all the time. No, yeah. you, you, it's bad. No, if you drag like the the slider like to all complexity, he's doing like like <laughs> bass quadruplets, and it's just like I don't know if this is possible. How <laughs> <laughs> <I> rips? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even the same genre, Kyle. Come on. Yeah, come on, <laughs> Kyle. Get on right. with it. <laughs> it's always a Kyle. Kyle, it's always Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. Kyle. Never <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. That was my first band. <laughs> I thought we were your first band. Yeah, you lied to us. Oh wow! Yeah, this is actually Alex's first band. Isn't that crazy? In his like, life. I yeah. started my first band when I I was twenty five. Is that how old you were? We were twenty five. Four years. Yeah, maybe twenty four, twenty five. I don't know. Yeah, but I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I it's weird. I feel I lived my entire life thinking I wasn't going to be in a band. <laughs> Yeah, he's just gonna write songs by himself forever. Yeah, and then we met, and then we we're like, oh, I guess we'll do yeah. this. Oh wow! Because I had essentially retired at that point because I was in a band with this guy. Yeah, and then I was like, I'm gonna focus on school. Oh, so I stopped. So and I was like, I'm never gonna be in a band because I'm never gonna be friends with a, like a drummer. <laughs> and then yeah, I mean, hey, good ones are hard to find. True. True. You gotta That's have hard gear. to find them. A good basis. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. The, the, man, I'm, 
the thing is, like, I have friends that are bassists, and I make fun of them to their face constantly. So I don't want to sound like I'm making fun of anybody, you know, who plays bass who I'm talking to. Just, just my friends. You no, you can't. I, you can I get it. all. The I do okay. it to him all day, every day. Because yeah. uh, I, what did I say yesterday? I was like, if a bassist ever goes like, "Hey, uh, sorry, I missed a note," like in that last song, I'd be like. Dude, I don't fucking care. No one fucking cares. <laughs> no one knows. What the fuck are you talking to me for? Why are you talking about hey, that? You know, it's, it's jazz. Oh, you know, oh. know it's just jazz now. Yeah. 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 It's some just weird chord jazz. structures. I need the right note. Yeah, no, yeah. It's true. Oh, yeah. No, hey, when, when he's taking like, me to school. That's for sure. It went to three of us on stage. <laughs> And this guy misses a note. It's like, oh, Dude, when okay. you're like rhythm yeah, guitar, when you're, he's like rhythm guitar, like when yeah. you're, yeah, when you're when you're in a, a, ba a bass in a three, well, anyone in a three piece, you're you, you better be, you better be good. You're playing, you're, on it. you're playing in your underwear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Very exposed. I'll give I'll give you that. I did yeah. I did like I said that to our drummer, and then I got to practice, and then the first thing he said was, yeah, one of the bassists in the other band was like, hey, uh, can you like listen to my bass and like see how it sounds and like how everything's going and, it, and i'm just like that's literally what i just said no one gives a shit about it's like the <laughs> bassist is asking another bassist how their bass yeah. sounds it's like well that's dude, why that, he's going uh, to the other bass because he's like finally someone who will appreciate uh, you'll it. understand it's like <laughs> god it's like two people just on an island playing bass like nobody gives <laughs> oh, a shit no. everybody else is having fun <laughs> <laughs> on that island with only two people no, the monkeys everyone else are having is on a fun different on fucking island oh okay but when i hear two drummers talk all i hear is drum 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 oh yeah drum 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 do you hit this one or this one i always feel like an infiltrator when i can like speak semi-intelligently about drums mm -hmm. i just ask for like like little tidbits so i'm like hey if i had to have a conversation with somebody like what could i say and they're like oh just say like <laughs> you know metallica snare from saint anger and i'm like i got you <laughs> <laughs> like that's something that every God, everybody will agree on <laughs> like you can always go back to lars ulrich and just make fun of him and you're good I mean, yeah <laughs> i did say the two uh, like obviously this is like a five-piece band so like mm -hmm. as a three-piece of course like every piece is like it's all fitting together in a much more like sparse environment like we play with two guitarists and I'm like, yeah, just just like hit most of the right chords. I think we're good. But if the vocalist fucks up or the drummer fucks up, everybody's like, ooh, damn, these guys yeah. may not be that good. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, yeah. He's like hitting ooh, the wrong shit. Awesome He's like again. missing. <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's so why cool. like the guys just don't understand that. It's like, dude, the, the most important pieces of this are the singer and the drummer to the audience. Other people are going to obviously be like, no, I really like that guitarist and I really like the songwriting and that's all these the parts rips. of it. But I'm like to a, to a motherfucker in the back of the room, who's just <laughs> buying Bud Lights at the bar, who's just yeah. listening to you. And it's like, I'm waiting for the other bands or like, I don't know. I'm on yeah. break. I'm just here. It's like you, you yeah. Just don't fuck up the vocals. Don't fuck up the drums. Everything else can kind of just like get you from point A to point B. And that's why I play bass. She's <laughs> <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> I had a band for a long time where we just tracked all the bass and everyone's like, You guys don't have a bassist? And I'm like, Why? Yeah, dude, Why would I do that? There's a lot of especially like metal bands I've noticed, like they just we'll just put it in the fucking background. It's just sub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make it heavy as fuck. Actually, since you brought yeah, up <laughs> since you brought up Polyphia, I'm like, yeah, I thought they for sure like tracked all of it. And I see that they obviously have one because there's no vocals in it, but it's like, yeah, this is very like electronic sounding anyway. Like you could just yeah, yeah about about not having a like the new record he showed me. Like the drums are super electronic. I'm like, you could backtrack all this and just put the guy in the center and play it, and he'd play. Yeah. Well, the thing like, is, you know what I mean? they actually went through like a couple of, uh, different producers for the newest record, mm -hmm. and they had someone write like all electronic drums for pretty much all of it. But then they took it back into the studio and had their drummer that they use live, and then Luke. Oh crap, Luke Holland. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke Holland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He rips. Yeah, he's um, in the they, world alive. They brought him in, and they like rewrote the electronic so drums good. on top of it. So it's something that they can play live. Yeah, that's why that's, that's rad. So it's like a that. combination of both parts. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's oh, pretty yeah. sick. So Lizzie, just Which, all this is your conversation. Record, it's a journey. <laughs> yeah, it's a journey for sure. <laughs> Let's see, you have you to know, take I, this entire conversation and go have a conversation with a drummer and be like, dude, I hear all this shit about Polyphia and how they yeah, record like, drums. Hey, this shit is tight as fuck. 
I mean, like, I, I don't know how to play any instruments. I can't sing anything. I'm 27. We'll be 28 in a couple weeks. I've never been in a band because I have no musical talent. So I'm just like yelling at everyone in the background, <laughs> managing everything. And I know that's my place <laughs> in the band. I'm going to be the person that tells the bassist, like, hey, don't get ahead of yourself. Just, you know, get up there. Just get up there and do it. Don't do your shit, you know? <laughs> I've said the bassist is like the, it's the, the audience surrogate on the stage like you can watch the bassist and if the bassist is like rocking out then you're like yeah let's get into it but meanwhile yeah. like everybody else has their like pieces of it that are maybe a little bit more focused so you don't have to look at the guitars you can just look at the bassist like who runs the front of the stage like put your hands up and like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like aerobics class yeah, like, yeah. 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 Like, like, hey. I, don't, I don't do the clapping shit though but i'll fucking i'll i'll fucking do some posse jumps and like oh yeah <laughs> I'll look, I'll look you straight in the eye. Like let's that, go. That's why I'm so excited about playing lead guitar and groundswell. I'm like, finally, I can just like rock out in the back. <laughs> yeah, you're doing like three jobs. So wait, what other bands are you in then? Uh, I, I, well, okay. So I, I'm in another band called Groundswell, uh, also from Columbus, and then. Uh, we're all in Gats Plot. Yeah, sort yeah. Of. So that's like my side project. <laughs> but we never played a show. It was just kind of a thing. But I mean, it's becoming more of a thing. But uh, <laughs> but then I'm also in like an indie pop band called Kali from Cincinnati. And then Aaron was in another band. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was in a band called Hydra. They're still doing their thing, but they're awesome. Um, that sounds familiar. I decided to just focus on Hell Knife. Yeah, they're also mm -hmm. from uh, Columbus. They're like garage punk, psych punk. Kind of vibes, kind of like a super cool King yeah. Giz, yeah, yeah. Vibes. King Giz vibes. So, yeah, yeah. We were, we were. I mean, we're kind of band sluts. Like we kind of jump around. <laughs> yeah, we get around. I was not it's a all band slut. Fun. Well, you are now. I was about yeah. to say you, you went from like I'm never going to be in a band to being yeah. like band being slut central. Band. <laughs> you want me to be in your band? I just found out how to be in a band. <laughs> <laughs> Like, guys, I'm ready for it. I mean, Pretty like, yeah. I feel like that's just, like, the way when you're in, like, certain bands, though, like, to an extent, like, you just kind of band hop around and then you just kind of land wherever you land. Especially when you have a good local is. scene. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, I was yeah. about to say Meteor, Columbus and yeah. Ohio in general has a very solid scene where you do have a lot of, like, mixing of all their band members with other bands. Yeah. You feel like like genre wise is maybe a reason why you like switch or, or like want to do multiple projects. Like, is there stuff that you can do in one that you can't do with palette knife or vice versa of like, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe like <laughs> adding synths and growing and being, you know, doing more with one band, obviously like, you know, you're growing the, the genre and you're expanding it out, but maybe it's like, yeah, I really want to put in this like metal riff, but it just straight up can't work here. <laughs> I mean, I feel like pal like especially for this new record, we scratch a lot of itches that I think we've all been kind of like uh, preparing, like or anticipating. Yeah. But I will say, I mean, obviously, I, I feel like all the bands that we just mentioned are all a little different than Pal Knife. Yeah. But yeah. Now, the next project that I want to do is like a I need to be in a straight up metalcore band. Yeah. That's I just need to get back. He's got a lot of <laughs> angst that he needs to yeah. let out. Okay, he wakes up at 8 a.m. and puts on black metal. Like you yeah, know what I mean? Like oh my he's god, already so pissed. <laughs> like I'm like, dude, are you okay? <laughs> no. I was about to say that's a that's an answer we all all of us know. No, absolutely not. Are any of us? No. <laughs> like I'm putting on black metal and I'm pouring cereal. <laughs> just like it's just giving every single like edgy meme. What, over the last few years um it, it changes a lot so i'm an adventurer spotify told me i'm an adventurer Ooh, okay uh, oh, but uh, i'm dreamo is like oh, my Jack main my main thing it's called dreamo i'm like that's cool because it makes sense it's dream pop and emo music but um i would say like it just depends on the weather so like if it's sunny like i'll do more poppier rap but like if it's like fall dude i mean i've been falling head over heels for turnover lately like i cannot <laughs> stop listening to turnover like i just can't it's annoying i'm like please stop like it's popping up in all my playlists now mm -hmm. so like oh like like daily mix it's in all my daily mixes like it like, knows oh. yeah so i'm just like okay but yeah turnover recently is my morning commute 
Ugh. Their new record is so boring. It's boring. Sorry. Their new record is so <laughs> stripped, and like I don't know what they're trying to do. But Peripheral Vision is a like masterpiece. Is that the record from 2013 or something? Yes. Oh, okay. 2014. Why well, improve on perfection? You know. That's true. <laughs> don't add sense to that. Right. I, I know what. And know what's funny? I don't think they might have a like background, but like the guitar in that record is has such synth vibes that like it just scratches that itch for me. Now, what is everybody's uh, top Spotify artist? Or do you want to admit it? Oh, mine's the Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) What are we? What are we in 2006? Dude, that new record is amazing. It's one of my favorite records of the year. Yeah. It's so good. Color Decay. uh, They killed it. Killed it. What about you? Oh, so, so. Nice. Mm. Uh, uh, Mine is Hundredth. Oh, that's, I haven't heard of 100th in a while. A band yeah. That's no. shifted to a shoegaze band. I, I, yeah. And now they're like kind of like a poppy dream pop band. That's a real, that's and, a real turn. But I don't really like their metal stuff. I mean, I, I used to. I don't really like it anymore. But they're, they're <laughs> new. Shut up. Because <laughs> 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 we've, we've had this discussion. That's why. Because well, he was like, it's so generic. And then I showed him, like, because he had not listened it's, to that one record. Like the first record, which is a standout. It's just hardcore. It's just Mm. very general. It's so good. It's like good hardcore. Listen, Neurotic from 2017. That album, I could listen to that (laughs) back to back all day, every day. Which is uh, what I did this year. (laughs) Which is what Spotify told me I did. Which is what it is. That's what I did. You're like, yeah, you love this band. Lizzie, what was yours? (laughs) Oh, mine was. I'll have a dog in the hardcore fight. Yeah, yeah. We we could go on for hours about this. Yeah. The hardcore the hardcore dilemma. Yeah. Well, I just like I really enjoyed those first few records when they were in the hardcore genre. And I'm all for bands like doing different genre shifts and shifting the palette, but it's such a dramatic Oh, game. so dramatic. It's it's a they should have changed their name to be honest. Yeah, with you. yeah. that's what irks but, me. And see like, that's like that's when you have another project at that point. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Like yes. It bothers me too. Yeah. So I'm I am I'm an arguer of just like, dude, you can do anything you want in a band That's now. Like it feels like there's a little bit more op- like Billie Eilish wrote an album of like 16 songs. And I think a lot of it like like stretches a lot of different stuff. And I listen to a lot of artists that like go into like we have a pop punk part and then we have like a, a more like heavy hyper pop part or like, yeah, just like you can get a lot of different stuff in one song or one album. And yeah. I'm starting to think like, dude, artists just have to like write all types of shit on every record they do to sort of like fit in the mold of like, we can do whatever we want. But I also, I'm like, yeah, there's a certain point at which like, Hey, you're a completely different artist now. But like, you know, growing up listening to bring me the horizon and still being a fan. I'm like, all right, like you're yeah, not that old band, subtle, but I still though. like the old stuff. They like yeah. changed over time. Yeah, right? they were yeah. very each album kind of like they added just a little bit, but it wasn't not dramatic. Like it's like it's like dude, neurotic and that the last album with the metal, like you're like, what is happening? Who is who are these people? Yeah. They don't sound mixed up or something. Yeah, yeah. Like is this a, <laughs> yeah, did Spotify fuck this up? I put on the wrong yeah. record, damn. <laughs> like I put it under the wrong person's name. Oh man, how do we fix this? <laughs> yeah. no, it's there for hey, it happens. Yeah, I like it's funny when you like go to shuffle something like bring me the horizon and you're like, Oh, just listen to this band. Like I'll just put on like, you know, shuffle. It'll be great. And then it's just like one (laughs) song is like really soft and like emotional. And it kind of has like some guitar and drums in there. And the next one is just like shredding. You're like, Oh, right. They had some older stuff. (laughs) That's not even on Spotify anymore. Favorite play. No, the album is not. Um, what's that album called? I forget. Is it it called? (laughs) The shock. Uh, Brave for Plagues is the song. Count Your Blessings is the record. Count Your Blessings. Count Your Blessings. There it is. That album rips. Is it, it is not Spotify anymore. They better not I, get rid of Suicide Season. No, Suicide Season's on there. Yeah. Suicide yeah. Season is great. Well, it's, what, uh, what, I was like, what record label was it on? Because that'll record. probably be why. Uh, oh, what? Epitaph. What? It is, so it is on Spotify. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, okay. Wait, Count Your Blessings is? Yeah. You lied. No, no, it wasn't <laughs> for a second because I checked. You lied. Well, is this the Mandela effect right I'm now? Listening to, to I'm listening to that right now. <laughs> right now on this stream. <laughs> oh, well, get the copyright. I know. Nah, I'm fuck it. Up for later. <laughs> fuck it, I'll do it. God, I, I'm stoked. 
Right. Um, I was listening to you on YouTube like an idiot. Oh, I mean, <laughs> three, maybe three, maybe the YouTube was was it. Maybe YouTube oh, was the one who said absolutely not. Maybe yeah, it that's could cool. be. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, that's what is. Initially. Wow, no, it's definitely so you're gonna cool. listen. You're like, whoa. What's up, Han Cassie? The album like, art's so good. You might be into it. Um, We're album art snobs here, being two graphic, graphic designers. designers. <laughs> yeah, no. Tell Slater not to wash his dick. That's, yeah. that's yeah. a song. That's a song and a half. Oh, <laughs> More man, than for Braille for Stevie Wonder's eyes only. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, they were... I used to make out with Medusa, bro. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's just a very <laughs> different band. Their la- the last song on the record is called Off the Heze. Like, it's a very different band. Like, when you had, like, Attack Attack just writing, like, the weirdest fucking uh, like, oh, yeah. song titles for the yeah, purpose of, like... Can we talk about that first album? Right. Perfect. Yeah. Wild. Wildly good. You know what they did? They added synths. Yeah. <laughs> they added synths. They <laughs> said, we know. Yes. We're trying we'll to bring synths to synth wave emo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are. Yeah, but Apparently. subtly, not dr- dramatically. Yeah, you, you have to, like... That. You have to ease everyone into it because yeah, yeah. it's like you don't want to scare anyone away. We're we're, we're, we're po- what are we? We're post. Oh or god! No. Or no, no, we're prog. No, we're no. bath prog. Or... We're prog pop punk. Uh, I thought we we're bathtub yeah, I water. What? <laughs> it's a bad joke. It's no, a bit. I, I love it though. <laughs> Gamer bathtub water. Yeah, yeah, bathtub, oh man! Bathtub, Dude. Bathtub, Dude. That's if Spotify tried making us a genre. Bathtub <laughs> gamer <laughs> emo. That's what we are. Bathtub gamer emo is. Awesome. That fits so <laughs> much. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. I said, shit. Oh, it's, it's, wait, no, it's it's bath emo bath water emo bath water. Oh, you know, okay. Gamer, Ga- uh, gamer bath water emo. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. stringing words together. Yeah. yeah. If you can I mean, find it's three like words, a, it's fine. It's like um for the Spotify, like I got silly kid core for one of my listening vibes. That's right. correct. You're a silly, silly kid core. Kid core. Kid core. Oh, I would like to hear that. What I don't know what like? it is. Is that like, what's the lemon show? But like, they're screaming. What's that like baby <laughs> show? Oh, Something I don't know. Lemon. Oh, Coco, Coco Melon. Le- Coco, Coco Melon. Melon. Yeah. Coco Melon? I don't Coco know. Melon, I was like. like there's, all the songs are like heavy. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> A metal tribute to Coco Melon. <laughs> yeah. But who knew in the fifth wave of emo, we would have a gamer girl bathwater emo. Oh. <laughs> like the merch. The merch. For a band, merch creates itself. It, it, it's just written for you, right? Take a take a photo of the three of you in one bathtub. <laughs> we've done that actually. Yeah, yeah, we've, done that. Mm-hmm. we've had pizza and, and PBR. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dang. it was it was a weird face. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it gets that attention. That just, just brings you together <laughs> closer as a band. You bonded <laughs> in a in a way. Okay, we weren't naked though. We were Oh naked. no, we were fully clothed. We were all just like crammed into a hot tub eating pizza, or no, a bathtub, bathtub eating bathtub, pizza. Bathtub, yeah. I mean, that's you know, it can be a cool time hanging out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, it's probably just felt weird because, like, all the people yeah. just, like, street. wet. Oh, yeah. yeah. They closed. They closed? And, and yeah. they closed? Well, it's, it's closed, reopen, closed, reopen. It's like uh, Bob's Burgers. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that reference just... <laughs> one of those yeah. things that just, like, it hits you square in the brain, and you're yeah, just like, oh, like fuck, exactly. yeah. It's you're just like, like Bob's up. Burgers. Yeah. Uh, well, we now we've been talking about nerd shit for so long, we have hit an hour uh, just about... So we have to bookend it now with the plugs and all the stuff about the new record. And uh, we'll continue talking for a little bit with the people over on Twitch and answer some questions or just talk more about um, getting into a bathtub together. Yeah. <laughs> what was the last thing bonding we said? I guess that's homies? what we're going to Yeah, just bonding with the homies, dude. Just, you know, Casual things. hanging out, eating some, eating, eating and drinking in the tub. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'll give you a chance to uh, to to say where everybody can find you on the internet, where everybody can check out. I mean, put it in their Spotify Wrapped for 2023, uh, and and all the new stuff about the record. Yeah. So uh, on let's see, on Twitter we are at Palette Stashes for as long as Twitter's going to be a thing. Um, Instagram is uh, oh, Palette Knife Fan. Twitch is Palette Knife Fan. TikTok is Palette Knife Fan. And Tumblr. What's Tumblr? Oh, Tumblr is Palette Knife Fan. Fan. Hey, oh man, we made I made us a Tumblr just in case Twitter happens, so we yeah, can go follow yeah, you on there. Yeah. 
We're not active yet, but I mean, we will be. Oh yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna get, get it going. <laughs> oh, yeah. T- oh TikTok, we're pounding that band too. Yeah, right? Oh, okay. uh, and then what? Uh, New Game Plus is out January twentieth. Yeah, January twentieth. Um, you can pre-order it now. Uh, we have three really cool final variants, and we also have three merch items to choose from. We got a Velociraptor sweater, which nice. is pretty badass. We got a Cyber Grind T-shirt, which is pretty cool. What'd you just say to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Spotify genre. Yeah, yeah. It's a Spotify genre. And then we have a t-shirt with all the bosses on it. Pretty dope. Yep. Uh, where can people find all the all the merch? Um, you can find it on our records, the heartrecords.com or Bandcamp. On yeah. our, our Bandcamp. Yeah. Cool. The classics. The classics. Where everybody should go. You know, make sure you pick up the <laughs> The physical medium and the then also the thing. digital medium for your Spotify rap to 2023. <laughs> I, don't know if that's how, I don't know if that's a good like call to action for people now. It's just like, oh, I want to remember that in a year. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. then you're like, I hope you feel the same way in a year. Otherwise, your Spotify rap is concerning. I, the same. Yeah, concerning, concerning. <laughs> I had a little too much MGK in mind, but. Oh, I'm kind no. of not surprised. Well, it wasn't like this album's not completely trash. No, it's not. Everyone, that's the thing. The well, are we talking about his pop punk phase? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, yeah. We don't talk about any other part of NGK. Terrible, but I don't like him, so it's fine. That's fair. Yeah, just, yeah you know what like, I mean. I just don't know. yeah, it's all fine. It's convoluted for me. I've not yeah. heard any of his music. There's like no, a couple okay. songs off. I don't. Remember, I don't know the album names. It's like the one where he's like sitting on the edge of a pool or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A, I can't, I can't like act like I know. Yeah, even though I know. my downfall. Um, that's the album cover. Basically. Yeah, that's the album cover. Yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, there's a couple songs in there where he has like the lead singer from like the Used. Mm-hmm. Oh, Body Bag. Bag? That yeah. song goes stupid hard though. Yeah. Okay, it goes it's stupid like, hard. Yeah. It's like that and um, with uh, Young Blood is on. Yeah, there. Really? that's a good no, song. No, it's called yeah, Body that's Bag. A, that's a great song, but the moments that are great about it are when he's not singing. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. literally yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah. literally everyone else but him because yeah. but fucking Burt my crag and just goes in. It's terrible. And they need to stop doing well, that. They, they, should, they should remove that. They should me. remove that <laughs> from Spotify. Of course terrible. you've heard that one. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, well, the I problem is play track. What's that? What? What was that your number one play track? What was your number no, one? No, 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 no. That was just it was up there because I we, think the, yeah. the one the one record came out this year, so I listened to it. Mainstream sellout. Yeah, I I didn't mind a lot of it. I didn't think it was like you know this. I have this thing now where I'm just like, it may not be the most mind blowing, amazing thing in the world, but if it hits me and I'm just like, yeah, it's fun. I can put that on. Yeah. Like I'm yeah. I'm fine with it. You know, yeah. like totally I'm trying good. to be less and less and less of like, no, like. MGK doesn't know how to play guitar or like whatever. Like, I don't care about any of that shit. Right. I mean, just like, did I like it? Yeah. No, maybe somewhere in the middle. Will I listen to it again? Yeah. If I want to. And then like, there are a couple of songs where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to put that on a playlist and I'll have that playing, and you know, whenever, but I just, I, I guess I'm just not like, there are a lot of people who are like, Oh, this new song by, you know, Mike cam or Paramore or somebody. It's like, Oh, it's not that good. And I'm just like, it exists. You don't have to love They're it, but you don't have to music. hate it. Like it's good. Like it's yeah. Fun. yeah, like it's there. I mean, like on mainstream cell, I think the only standout song for me was "Drug Dealer" because it featured T Pain on it, and T Pain oh, made it better. That was, that was Little Wayne. No, oh, Little Wayne. It was Little Wayne. Oh yeah, we. Yeah. Okay, it was Little uh, Wayne then, T-Pain. but it made it better. And he if performed. T-Pain I saw was it on at that Lala. It would have made it incredible. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I saw he performed "Drug Dealer" at Lala, and I saw it. It was actually pretty good live. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They did not play Body Bag, though. Very upsetting. <laughs> well, I think we promoted MGK far too much at the end of this bookmark. Oh, yeah, no, for, really, for yeah. uh, <laughs> so we're going to uh, to wrap up the recording here. We will continue the conversation over on Twitch. Uh, but if you're listening to this, you know, make sure you're following Palette Knife on everything. Spell it correctly. Uh, all Don't the links will be in there. Uh, we don't have. To, I still we're not calling that out on the recording, but. <laughs> So no one, no one made the mistake. No one made any mistakes. Don't go searching. So uh, we will <laughs> make sure you're following them on everything. Make sure what to check out the tease? record. <laughs> and, what else to uh, tease? Yeah, just uh, uh, go check them out. And uh, while we're while we're moving out, you know, on to Twitch, uh, we'll say thank you for uh, for being here on the podcast with us tonight. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you so much thank for you. having us. Yeah. yeah.